EP, one of the things for the BC cast is they do parametric equations. How many of you have ever heard of, it's a, um, it's, it's a, an activity that people do where they take uh, buttons and uh, little um, levers and they move them back and forth and it sends an electrical signal to a, like a, a monitor of some sort, TV screen, and it causes images to move left and right, maybe moving over obstacles or throwing other obstacles at others. Have you ever heard of those? Oh yeah, video games, that's it. Have you ever heard of those? Uh, video games is is why we do parametric equations. When we write y is equal to x squared plus 3, that's if you know what x is and you know what y is. But in time, sometimes we want to control like an etch-a-sketch, something left and right, something up and down. So no longer do we have this, we're going to use uh, x of t is equal to something with t in it, uh, y of t has something with t's in it. And then you can find slope, you can find uh, areas, you can do all kinds of things with it. But what I want to show you is that this is just another way to look at derivatives. And so whenever you look on this sheet here, uh, dy dx, that's going to be your slope. So you're going to take if you want to find the slope, dy dx, you take the dy dt, which is the derivative of this bottom part, and divide by the derivative of this x of t. And then together, simplified, gives you the slope. Now, if you want the slope of the slope, or the concavity, what you're going to do is take the second derivative. Now, it's not as simple as it appears. You take the derivative of dy dx, maybe some kind of an implicit thing, or maybe some kind of a uh, special derivative, and then take that divided by dx dt. So that's how you find the second derivative. A little different, but not that big of a deal. If you want a total distance travel, so distance travel, you might want to consider doing the um, it's called the arc length type of method. You go from A to B in time of the square root of dx dt, x of t prime quantity squared plus y prime of t quantity squared uh, dt. Doesn't this look a little bit like, what does that look like that you've seen before? Yes, triangle, distance formula, right? This is very much like the distance formula. So a lot of times they might ask you for some kind of an x position. And to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to start with x0, and then you're going to add, going from a to b, square root, all this stuff here. Uh, x prime of t, y prime of t, okay? and that's your x position. If you want a y position, you just go uh, everything except you put y's in. Y position, you start with your y zero, and then you do, uh, I don't know if this will copy that will It'd be nice if it did, though. Ooh, that's... Sorry you don't get this. Guess I'm not here. <laughs> oh yeah. So a to b, it's same, same thing. X prime of t squared plus y prime of t squared dt. So this is the distance, and you kind of once you figure this out, the distance, then you just start from your x position and your y position, and you look at that. The other thing I wanted to show you is sometimes they're going to ask you for the speed and the acceleration using x of t and y of t. And all you have to do for that acceleration is x double prime of t and y double prime of t. And in BC Calc, they call this the acceleration vector, but this is how you find it. 
And speed isn't a vector, it's a magnitude. It's just going to be the square root of uh, x prime squared plus y prime of t squared. And that's your speed. Okay, so one more time, kind of the overview. Your acceleration is just going to be second derivative of your, you know, uh, x of t, first derivative, second derivative, same with y. Speed is the first derivative squared plus the second derivative squared, square root. That's a magnitude value that you're going to call speed. If you want to take the derivative, just find the slope. You go dy dt over dx dt, which kind of makes sense if you canceled out the dt's. Second derivative is a formula to take the derivative of that answer divided by dx dt. A little tricky. Watch out for that. And then for the uh, distance, you're going to integrate from A to B of that essentially speed equation, and then you can find x position, y position. I just showed you everything you possibly need to know to solve any BC uh, parametric problem. So if you take that yellow packet that I have right here, you can circle 2011, question one. I'm going to have you do that one for tomorrow.